Hello, welcome to part two of the introduction to the standard error of the mean. If you recall from when we were working with z-scores, z-scores allowed us to take multiple normal distributions that had different scales and standardize their scale so that we could transform a given raw score from one standard normal distribution onto the z distribution and then compare that to say a raw score on a different normal distribution that had a different scale. So in other words, the z distribution and the use of z scores allowed us to standardize things and to compare and contrast easily. Well, we can make an analogy between that and what we're trying to do through the use of the standard error of the mean. If you recall from part one, the standard error of the mean is equal to the standard deviation of the sampling distribution. And the sampling distribution was comprised of the means of all of our repeated samples. And this symbol here represents the standard deviation of the sampling distribution or the standard error of the mean. And we can use it to transform any sample mean into a standard score somewhere in this sampling distribution. So just as we used this this z-score formula here to transform from a raw score to a z-score or a z-score to a raw score, so too can we use a formula to transform from a mean into some place on the um, on the sampling distribution. So let's go back and just recall our formula for the z-score. The z-score is equal to a raw score minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. Okay, so we're making an analogy between that and this new formula. And this new formula can be used to transform a sample mean to a standard score in the sampling distribution. And remember, this is our sampling distribution here. So let's go through and talk about these different components. So figure Z is equal to the sample mean minus the population mean divided by the standard error of the mean. And remember, the standard error of the mean is the standard deviation of the sampling distribution. But how do we calculate this? How do we calculate the standard error of the mean? We use another formula for that you see here. So the standard of the error of the mean is equal to the standard deviation of the population divided by the square root of the sample size. So as you can see, the larger the sample, the larger the number we have in the denominator, the smaller our standard error of the mean will be. Because anytime you're dividing an, one number by a by a large number, you're going to end up with a small number. Whereas if you divide a number by a small number, you're going to end up with a bigger number. So the larger the sample size, the smaller the standard error of the mean. This might take a while for you to get used to, and that's okay. You might need to watch this video a couple of times, but we're going to be applying this information in class on Monday as we try to run some z-test. And the z-test, which, which Abbott reviews in this chapter, is the first of many statistical analysis techniques that we will be learning. This concludes this particular video mini lesson, and please let me know if you have questions. Thank you.